Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Spider Slayer's Hall, episode number 297, that's right guys, and today I think there's some pretty good comics to show you, and in fact, I have a little box that I wound up getting today, Guardians of the Galaxy, probably for the uh, return of... Uh, Adam Warlock. This is a really cool short box as you get to see Rocket here front and center and then you get the front of it as you get to see the whole team. Also on the side of it you get to see the whole team as well. So it really looks really nice and inside is my comics. So let's open it up and let's see what I got this week. All right. So again, if you guys are not familiar with this series, this is the video series where each and every week I show you, the fans, what I got at the comic book store. And the first thing I wound up getting is a free poster um, at the shop because they were releasing the whole Avengers issue that's coming out weekly. And I wound up getting um, this whole thing with the character by the name of Voyager. It's like the original poster. So look at that. So you can't even see it in my car because it's actually so big. So we wind up getting that. Um, and then actually on the back of it, uh, I think it's actually a better poster where it shows you the entire uh, Marvel, like, I don't know if it's all the Avengers here. So look at that, that's pretty cool as well. So I like this part better than the, um, than the old school one, but again, that was for free. Look at all the cool characters in there. So it's got characters from the past and everything else. So that's really, really awesome. I gotta find space to somehow hang that up in my uh, garage or whatnot. All right, so let's go digging into the comic books. So inside is the mysterious black bag, like usual. And the black bag goes back in the box. So I gotta put those comics back in there. And let's start the actual books. So first things first is we have Witchblade. This is issue number two. Uh, the first issue was really well done. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous in this uh, series. Uh, it's really kind of gory and, and bloody and, uh, and whatnot. And then you're getting to see how our main character, how she's dealing with this the, the bracelet that she's wearing and how she's fighting it. And, uh, you know, how she can be normal or how she can be this different person. It was really a good first issue. It just seemed like it's been a while since the first issue came out. And I have to kind of like reread the first issue. But I, for what I remember, it was really good. Hopefully they have some kind of recap or whatnot. So Witchblade issue number two. All right. Next, we have uh, Superman Action Comics issue 995. Really close to a thousand as Superman's story continues with Booster Gold. Um, this has been a really awesome story as well as they're dealing with this whole Krypton thing. And we wind up seeing them escaped Krypton. But now the Eradicators are after Superman and Booster Gold. Artwork is looking really nice here in this very first page. This is a nice looking book. Um, the overall story has been really a lot of fun as well and it's cool to see booster in here too so superman action comics issue 995 all right next hal jordan and the green lantern Corps issue number 36 this has to do with those controllers i did not read the last issue i fell behind on a couple of books uh last month and uh this was probably my least favorite to read uh when it comes to these controllers I'll probably get around to reading it this time of month. There's not that many books this week. So this is Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue number 36. And by the way, I just wanted to let you guys know, I did drop Green Lanterns. I don't like the direction that book is going right now. I wish Tim Seeley didn't write it. All right, next. Speaking of legacy, we have Avengers. This is No Surrender. Um, this lenticular 3d covers the way they do this they did this with the guardians of the galaxy um this is a really nice looking cover it's really beautiful when you actually see it um you know in person maybe not on the camera it really screams that 3d look and uh it's an it's a good looking cover 
I'm anxious to give Avengers a try again. I've dropped off of it so many times because I wasn't a fan of Mark Wade's writing, but I'm, I'm interested to see, you know, where this story goes, um, you know, for our team here and how this thing will continue week after week after week. So yeah, looking forward to it. Avengers No Surrender wound up paying $2.99 for this book. I'd even pay full price, so definitely worth it. All right. Next, from Marvel, wound up getting um, issue number 597. This is Daredevil. And here we're going to have Matt Murdock uh, work with Wilson Fisk as he's going to be the deputy mayor. And so he's going to try to take out Wilson Fisk from the inside, I guess, from him being mayor anymore. This has been a really good book. This has surprised me. Um, I love the story, and uh, hopefully it continues to be this way. Um just a great surprise, really nice story arc. So Daredevil, issue 597. Next is a book that's going to get canceled, issue number 161 of She-Hulk. It's a very weird cover. Um, She-Hulk looks like a toy, I guess, when you look at it here. And I don't know what's going on. And then you have, like, the leader there, the Hulk, the, the weird She-Hulk that was introduced in the last issue was very odd as well. She just looks off the wall. We wound up seeing that her name is Robin. And I was like, oh, what is she going to change into? How her character is going to be? And she's manipulated by the leader. And she turns into this. I'm like, what the heck is that? What is that? You know, I was disappointed by the way she looked. Maybe it's just the artwork. I didn't like the detail of it, but, you know, we'll see where this story goes. It just seems like it became a very weak story very quickly, and maybe it's because the title is getting canceled. So, who knows? So, She-Hulk issue 161. All right, next. One of my highly most anticipated books of the week from Marvel by far is Old Man Hawkeye issue number one. You can expect a review from me on this one. If not today, I would say tomorrow at the very latest. So stay tuned for that. I can't wait for this. This takes place, I think, around five years before the original Old Man Logan story where he is still has his eyesight, but he's losing his eyesight. When you look at the actual book on the inside, um, the artwork looks absolutely brilliant in here. I'm going to try to find it. Look at that. That looks great. Man, I can't wait to read this book. I'm so anxious for this. So it's called Old Man Hawkeye, Eye for an Eye, Part Number One. Again, stay tuned for that, guys. Oh, such a cool cover. Man, they look like Nova guys right there, right? Look at that. So that's cool. Oh, man, I'm so excited to read that. All right, another book to see if it has really, you know, decent story progression now uh, going forward with this. And a lot of people were confused with Magneto's purpose in this book with him being in the book and out of the book and whatnot and this is uh phoenix resurrection issue number three um the artwork i thought in this book is really well done i like it um here we get to see continuation of jean gray still dealing with her situation here uh in her afterworld or whatever the case may be so again really curious to see what kind of story progression we're going to get out of this so Phoenix Resurrection, Issue 3. A lot of Marvel books this week. I thought that DC had a light week. Next, Star Wars, Darth Vader, Issue Number 10. As we wind up seeing Darth Vader, uh, she was fighting. He was fighting the person that was in charge of the actual... Um, oh, God, what was it called? The... Um, uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Jocasta knew... Oh, uh, she was the archive person she was protecting the the jedi archives and she winds up doing battle against um darth vader in this book you know towards the end she had this big rifle really cool man i think uh the artwork here by giuseppe colacoli is absolutely sec top notch and uh this is a book that you would like if you're a darth vader fan i'm telling you guys check this one out so darth vader issue number 10 all right Next continues our Venom Inc. story. This is part five. I've always felt that the Venom side of this story tends to be weaker artwork and storytelling alike. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this crazy, um, over-exaggerated art 
kind of almost looks like anime and and very much in many ways um like look at peter's hair sticking out of there and look at lee price so i mean it's okay um i just think it's too much and again every time we get to the story aspect of this um of the if this side of venom it feels like it's just all about the action and you can see that that's what happens in this issue once again and so we'll see where it goes but i'm overall i'm, I'm enjoying venom inc so this is issue number 160 all right and next we have the continuation of X-Men Blue. This is issue number 19. As it looks like our X-Men here are back in the right timeline. Or are they? I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. Um, I love this cover as well as we get to see uh, the original costumes in here and the way our X-Men used to look. So we'll see what happens with this one. I'm, I'm, you know, this story for me has been a disappointment. Um, it just seems like they've been traveling from one place after the one place after one place, and it's been a stall. So I don't know. We'll see what the direction it's going to go after this story. So this is X-Men Blue, issue number 19. And last but not least, guys, this is X-Men Gold Annual, the first annual here celebrating the 30th anniversary of Excalibur. Um, cool to see where Excalibur stands right now. I haven't read these guys in a really long time. I don't know really very much about them. Here's some pages from the actual book in the inside. We'll see if the annual is worth a decent story and maybe the return of Excalibur. So we'll see what happens here. So guys, there is the haul for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed my cool box of comics uh, featuring Guardians of the Galaxy in this free poster that I got from the shop. So hopefully maybe you guys can get some cool stuff as well. And now it's your turn in the comments below to tell me which books you picked up for the week, which ones you're most excited for in reading. And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and guys, I'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye.